U.S.-China business and trade relationships were central to the two countries' overall relations. However, in recent years, many American businesses are reconfiguring their strategy in China. Today, our guest is Kerr Gibbs. He was the president of American Chamber of Commerce in Shanghai. What do you hope to accomplish during a time when promoting doing business between U.S. and China may not be the most popular idea? The conversation about China and with China has really become um, completely dominated by conversations about the national security issues. We want to basically remind people about how important the commercial side of this relationship is and how mutually beneficial it has been over a long period of time. The main issues between China are, are actually not about trade or the imbalance of trade and um, intellectual property. It's all about national security. There is frustration um, in the business community, but I think it's more a frustration with the situation um, as opposed to you know specific individuals. It's a very troublesome situation right now between the United States, United States and China, for sure. People do, businesses do need to be mentally and financially prepared for, for, for failure in the China market because it is so challenging. It's so competitive. I think some of the businesses, especially entrepreneurs and small, medium businesses, are going to be making choices that, um, that maybe the China market is not for them. Um, if they don't have the deep pockets of the financial resources to to um, to weather through certain failures, if you're a global company and you're not in the China market, the China market you're is so global. large, yeah. you're not global. You're not global. It's a fifth of the world. If they're not in that market, mm -hmm. they are not going to participate in that innovation. And their next global competitor, especially when you talk about automotive, their next global competitor is very likely going to be coming from, from, from China. And some of the Chinese OEMs are, are doing extraordinary things with uh, innovation. I do think that there's going to be continue to be op opportunities in the China market. I think the future could actually still be a China that is highly integrated with, with the rest of the world, highly integrated with American markets and, and European markets.